Hello there. My name's Sean, also known as the Terminator. Well, hello there. Um, I've been away for a bit. Um, not through choice, really. I've over Christmas, I've been playing a lot of festive games and enjoying those very much. Uh, I did attempt to record some festive games, but uh, I discovered that actually it's very difficult to do that because there's so much going on in a festive game. It's very difficult to know what to record. You know, I tried to record my screen or record my views, looking at other people's boards and things, and it, it never really worked. So I decided to ditch those. And since then, I've been, I have had a few game recorded a few games, um, but um, through some various technical issues, I haven't been able to get any up. Um, for a while uh, there was one game there was one great game that i might still put up i'm not sure where i've recorded it three times and a different thing went wrong in each <laughs> occasion which is quite frustrating but i'm back and we're going to record um a game here um so i'll i'll see you in a minute hopefully everything works fingers crossed okay i have a game for you today in the um, the Blambling Blowout, the new tournament. Um, very interesting tournament, non-ELO, no house rules. Everything's, everything's on the table <laughs> in this tournament, and uh, it's a very interesting format. Uh, round robin, 18 games, and uh, yeah, we've, we've had an okay start. We're 3-3 three and three so far, I think. As we approach this game, a uh, post commentary uh, game against uh, Blitzel Foible. Um, if you don't know Blitzel's channel, very good. Um, Wingspan and other games. Um, content creator, I'll link his channel in the description if you don't know it. I'm very good, I'm a big fan of his. Um, and yeah, we're playing him and going second here, so um, I'll join you when the uh, my starting hand comes. Not too bad a tray to see when you're going second. Nothing too incredible there, so that's good. Um, and we'll see what we get. And uh, oh, it's a very beautiful, colourful start. No brown powers at all in our starting hand, which is uh, a little bit awkward. But we do have a couple of really good birds. We've got a secret kingfisher, a bird which is really nice for uh, getting food um, when your opponent takes food. Uh, my bonus cards were Bird Bander and Ecologist and I immediately went for Ecologist because I saw I had a white bag tail. These teal pals are so good in Oceana. This is of course the first um, game that you'll see on my channel of from Oceana um, because of my break. But Oceania, I'm a really big fan of the Oceania um, um, expansion. Had had lots of fun with it. And yeah, these teal pals are so good in it. And we've also got the Rybill, which is uh, definitely a good bird to get some more bonus cards later on. And, you know, we already know that um, Bird Bander is going to be an option in that, with that, so we can sort of uh, use that information and um, build towards getting, like, it's weird to be thinking about trying to do both bonus cards that I've got, <laughs> choices that I've got here, but that's, that's the situation we're in. Uh, so yeah, no brown pals and uh, nothing in the tray really that stands out. I sort of thought that maybe the Eleonora's Falcon might be decent here. Uh, just to have something, some brown power in the, in the wetlands. But obviously be, maybe the Rybo we could play straight away as our wetland bird. But um, definitely the priority was to get Sacred Kingfisher down. Um, to hopefully profit from when they take food and they didn't take food in their first turn um so yeah keeping the nectar because then a bit more flexibility especially with the wagtail and maybe using the wagtail power as well um so yeah with it the roy bill even though it seems a bit strange to play it so early on actually it might be all right here it also meets the end of round two so this end of round um so yeah, it, if we want to do go for the falcon or anything else, we obviously want to have a wetland bird there first. Uh, my opponent played the Brolga, so we're going to be getting three eggs. They're going to be getting two cards, but we're going to be getting in three eggs, which is definitely useful here. Uh, so yeah, I thought I may as well play the right bill anyway. Um, we know... Oh, then I just saw the nectar in the feeder. I thought, actually, yeah, probably best to go for the nectar there. 
Uh, always good to grab the nectar whenever we see it. Obviously, we've got the wagtail. We can need to take food uh, at some point, even if for the sake of kingfisher give us gives us food. So we may as well get the nectar. Um, that's a bit of like sort of a thought of leaving the nectar for my opponent so that they take food and I get some kingfisher food but obviously that is not, it doesn't really matter that much I have to take food anyway so I may as well take nectar um, and obviously my opponent will unless they have a bird that gives them food they will have to take food at some stage and uh, they do have a bird that gives them food the eastern phoebe but they played it in the forest um, so getting more food in the forest, but it means now that when they take food, I get two food. I get worm and something for the kingfisher. I got the right bill, and uh, and well, well, there's the bird bander. But then I saw a behaviorist and thought, well, actually, this could be a behaviorist game. We've already potentially got one column. So if I, if I'm going to guarantee to get three points of that, then it might be better than bird bander. Better, um, just you know, and I do love behaviorist. Obviously, we're in. Oceania, lots of options for, for behaviors, so with the new yellow powers, so yeah, we've got some good bonus cards straight away here. And there we go, we get first um, kingfish food, and we also get a worm from Phoebe, so my opponent will definitely be looking to take food as little as possible here. Um, I did think about them getting falcon, but I thought, nah, we'll just get them there and see what we get. And definitely a good couple of birds, which uh, might come in handy. See bonus card birds, high scoring birds. Definitely sort of thing you're after when you've got wagtail. Sort of thing you want to be playing. But I was definitely looking for brown powers. Um, <laughs> some sort of decent brown power that I can I can play. That's what I was after, and uh, so I thought it was worth digi uh, digging a bit more. We could still, you know, run the wagtail um, and play some of the stuff that I already had, but I'm just had enough turns to do all those and enough food, so I could may as well just dig for a bit and see if we can find anything better. The mannequin, great a mannequin. Um, obviously, potentially very useful for behaviorist and. Yeah, good bird. Um, star nest. We've got two end of round goals that need that would use star nest to be useful for. So could definitely be good. And uh, yeah, get another egg. So we could run the ragtail without even needing to lay eggs. Although obviously we do to trigger the power. But um, yeah, um, we've got the uh, cardinal then, which obviously when you've got uh, yeah, you're doing a wagtail game, you want to be strengthening the forest and getting more food. Um, but we had the kingfisher, so. And at the moment, the, f the forest was my opponent's only source of food, so I knew they were going to give me food. So it wasn't uh, absolutely essential to get a, a food giving brown power in there, I didn't think. So I thought I'd stay flexible, go for cards again, see what we else we can find. A couple of brown powers, um, potentially the diver could be decent uh, to strengthen this wetland quite a lot. But. Um, Put it playing the Bells Ray for the uh, end of round, no doubt. Um, so yeah, Wagtail goes down, and then we can egg lay, and then we can trigger the um, Wagtail. And we have a couple of food to work with here. Um, maybe our opponent gets more, uh, takes food again, and gets me more food to give me more options. But I'm quite happy with what I had here. Uh, could play the mannequin. Could play the. Actually, I think it's only the mannequin. Unless they give me food, but I was quite happy to play the mannequin. If it came to that. Yeah, I think I was looking for a brown power because I'm always uh, mindful of trying to spread out these the teal, pink, and yellow so that we only have so because white, brown, brown powers are all common. So I didn't really want to put the wagtail in the first column. I wanted to put it in the second column, but. That wasn't really going to happen with the amount of turns I had, so but that's fine. I got the mannequin down, drew the end of the round. Already got an ecologist, already got behaviorist column, so this is a nice combination of bonus cards. And they played the barn out, so they've got uh, strengthening their forest, and that's I'm quite good with that. You strengthen your forest and give me more food. 
when you take food, so. And in the tray, in the second round, there's some decent stuff there, but it's certainly that laughing kookaburra is a bird that, yeah, not massively useful for me because you, I'm using all the, the habitats anyway and getting the, the each resource, but it would definitely be good for unpoling because it would mean they wouldn't have to take food as much, so I definitely had to deny that uh, kookaburra. Um, not too interested in these other birds. Uh, maybe the shoveler for more cards, but I do have the diver, which is better than that, so didn't really need to get that. And uh, snipe, always find certainly in base EE. I do like the birds like the snipe when you've got wagtail, just in case you are short on food <laughs> at the end of the round, just to have something to play, um, just just cheaply like that. Um, that's sort of like a bird that uses cards, but in you know, you know we know there's a bit more food around, so it's not quite so um, important, but uh, still useful to have a little backup, I feel like. And my opponent took the um, bee eater and they gave me an egg. So I'm looking to get eggs in those uh, platform nests now. But yes, and definitely good stuff in the tray. Um, definitely spotted owl came up. And yeah, Cassin's Finch, another bonus card bird. Could, what could work into this behaviourist column here. So. So yeah, lots of options open to me here. How was it, what was I going to do in this next column? So that was my next thinking. I really wanted to play the Black Throat Diver um, in the wetlands to strengthen the card draw, but I have to admit, actually very good cards at the moment. So actually card draw wasn't absolutely central here. I think I was good. Um, so trying to think about what best to do. There goes the um, the Kingfisher again. So get up a break for worm in case I want to play the Diver. But, um, But yeah, um, even though I didn't think it was like essential, I think I was sort of thinking about playing the Finch or the Spotted Owl in the forest. So I wanted the brown power for the wetlands, and uh, yeah, so maybe maybe the Black Crown Night Heron I've got. Maybe maybe I do play the Kookaburra and get a bit more food. But uh, I saw the nectar was in the feeder, so thought I'd grab that now. Bed sparrows, that's nice. Definitely a bird you like to see him start your hand in OE to get more eggs in the grassland. But uh, yeah, we played Spotted Owl, see what uh, Kristen says, Catherine's Finch rather. And yeah, we got bowl nests. Do we have one? We've only got the cardinal. Do I really want to play that for to get a bowl nest? Um, but uh, I can't remember, I just didn't see what the other option was. I did, you notice I do play very fast. <laughs> I do play quite instinctually. I don't. Um, Sometimes it's definitely to my detriment for sure, playing a bit fast, but yeah, boldness I think is definitely the best option there. And uh, but yeah, so we do need brown power for this, or ideally a brown power for this wetlands. I did think about playing the diver, just forcing it down, but I wanted to be more efficient on food. I didn't think food was going to be too much of an issue, but at any point my opponent could play a food giving bird. They, I knew they took the beta then, so. Maybe the food that I get from the kingfisher might dry up a little bit, so I didn't really want it to be efficient with food. And the kookaburra, I mean, yeah, it gives me food. I will be getting playing for cards again at least twice, and maybe the spare food will be useful. It's only one point bird, but um, yeah, I'm not sure. A bit. Uh, I thought it might, it might help here. Just My opponent playing pretty fast as well, and they uh, found the main duck, <laughs> which is not great to see. But uh, at least it's not in an obvious wetland engine. But I first suddenly noticed there's the Brewer's Blackbird in the tree, um, uh, a, bowl, a much more useful bowl nest than the card I had and uh, for my bonus card. And actually, it could be useful because I'm getting quite a lot of cards here. And at the moment, my grassland is very weak. I only get two eggs at a time, unless I want to get rid of something. So. Actually, yeah, I think the Blizz Bird Blackbird could be really good here before I lay, lay eggs. Obviously, my opponent's given me some eggs with the Brolga, but um, yeah, I definitely wanted to play the Brewers Blackbird. And uh, now I, I had the choice of what food to take for the Cookaburra. What I want to play next was my priority here. 
didn't really have anything that I was sort of desperate to play, so... I mean, yeah, Bo's got... I mean, the Brewer's Blackbird I probably would have wanted to play next, but obviously I can't get green here, so... I just thought, well, maybe we just start playing the big point birds, the bonus card birds. If I had the food spotted out, I might go for that next, but... I've got to think about also what I'm going to do in this next column in terms of behaviourist, what, what am I going to play? Um, I don't think I have, do I not have, I don't think I have a non-white or brown power in my hand that I want to play. So, that was going to be a bit of a headache, what I was going to do. Do I need to draw again to try and find something, or do I just guess on where the habitat a you know non-white or brown power is going to be and just play one of these birds? Yeah. Probably best, but... Uh, Still getting brogue eggs, so my opponent digging a lot, and they do reveal the spangled drongo. Now, I had to decide. I had to egg lay. I had to egg lay to activate the wagtail. So it was either to get the drongo, which is a really nice pink power for my behaviorist as well, or give up on the wagtail play. Well, give up the wagtail play or take the drongo. I mean, it, it was difficult. I had decided not to give up on the wagtail play. I decided to leave it there. Um, I sort of decided in my head that it's fine if, he, if they want the drongo they can take it and I'll just not take it <laughs> when I go for food um, I was okay to do that but. so they now had a decision I think they had to decide between winning the end of round goal or picking up the drongo I think that was the decision they had now so I had a difficult decision now they've got it um yeah, so I didn't want to give up the Bucketail part there, the Bucketail play for the Drongo. Um, if it was like round two, like start of round, the end of round one, like getting into round two, then I probably would have picked it up. But just at this point, it's probably not quite as critical. Um, you know, if it didn't matter for the White Wagtail, I would have taken it for sure as well. But just losing that Wagtail play, I didn't think it was worth it, so. And they decide. Um, well, actually, that was strange. I was thought I thought they were gonna lay eggs and win the end of round, or take the drongo. Actually, didn't they didn't either. They actually, took food. Um, so we got a bit extra food here. So do does that change what the player was gonna do now? Um, do you need two rats for spotted owl? So maybe we play. I think I was planning on probably playing the night heron next. Um, Maybe that food is going to change my mind, or maybe not, but... but I really want to get the blackbird down. I could have just forced it down here, but I was still trying to be efficient with food, so I decided uh, not to do that. We've got a few eggs, so we can get food and play the Bruce blackbird before we lay eggs next time. So we just... I'll just get the heron down, it's fine. Yeah, I'm very surprised they didn't... I'm sure they had more than three platform in this space, but we draw, yeah, we've drawn the first two in the rounds, so that's fine. So, we've got uh, we've got a non-white or brown power in the tray. Um, Starling, is that worth taking just for a behaviorist? Um, I could play in the grasslands, then I could play one of the white powers in the forest. Um, could definitely work here. Look at the end of round for this round as well is rats and fish. Obviously the night heron works for that as well. So that was good to play now and yeah, we're looking good for that as well. And a few others. Um, but yeah, I decided the starling because it, we are going to be getting a freeze amount of food, especially if the king, kingfisher continues to work. So maybe the starling uh, would actually be useful here. I decided to get rid of an egg just to get more cards. A <laughs> great <laughs> egret. Um, that would have... that's. Uh, really good obviously for this end of the round um, yeah, and I decided to take food uh, take food with the night heron there get a nectar because we're not really getting that much nectar and I thought food is more valuable than eggs here we we're gonna get the black bird down and get a few more eggs so actually got a cooking bar of food as well so 
yeah, obviously the Brewer's Blackbird. I couldn't put the Blackbird in the grass in here now, which is what I was planning to because I've got the Night Errand there, so that would be a behaviourist card, so... I'm sort of happy the Starling came up, just a single food bird that I can stick in there before the Blackbird. I've got enough eggs to do that, so... Yeah, I plan on playing the Budry Guard, which is... I definitely... They're thinking about the Grass Ninja in here. so that I can get the Burr's Black uh, down and then Eglay. I've got a couple of cards that I'm not definitely not going to be playing. Yeah, so my opponent did play the Beta, so they've got their Grass and uh, Beat now, Grass and Engine getting food with the Beta, so they don't have to use the Forest as much, which is um, smart and... Uh, yeah, we get our blackbird down, and we can now lay eggs, take food, um, and maybe, maybe we've got two, two, two plays in us here. A play, another uh, play bird, and then the white tail play. take food there so unfortunately we only got choice of worms but uh, that's okay could come in useful here but we yeah so we saw I saw that the feeder was uh, ripe to get nectar so that made sense to take food then I was planning on egg laying first but it doesn't matter um, I do have enough cards to discard cards for food and use the blackbird as I did I did I'm too late for the liver now so an extra nectar, so that's nice. It is a weird situation with the nectar at the moment. I've got two in every habitat, uh, and they've got one in every habitat. <laughs> a low nectar game so far. Greed to go down for them. Um, yeah, um, some egg laying. Decided to. Well, what do I get rid of here? So, as you see, it's going to happen. What are we going to do for this column? How are we going to do it? Do we can use the egret? No, I decided. <laughs> I decided that food wasn't quite good enough to be able to play the egret, and um, I didn't think it was needed for this end of round. I think we were doing pretty well for it anyway, and we do have this heron that we could play for more, and the spotted owl as well, so. This little pipe cormorant in the tray I was thinking about, because I do have some platforms, but obviously a yellow power. Could that work for behaviorist? Maybe, but didn't really want to go for cards again. Uh, I don't think I could actually now with the, with the um, I know I could, but maybe earlier I could have got it, but more brawl Gregs. Um Yellow-billed cuckoo, earlier, uh, would, uh, slightly earlier on, definitely would have interested me, but especially now with the graph engine they've got, but I decided that uh, I'd rather just um, do some plays, and yeah, we play house and spotted owl, so we get a nice spotted owl there, and we get backyard birder, which uh, is pretty cracking here. Not often that's good, but we get looking good now for ecologist and behaviorist. Uh, and yeah, the heron, why not? It's <laughs> four points. Yeah, part of me does wish I'd actually picked up that cormorant and played that instead because then I would have got another co behaviors card. I was quite happy with three. Um, and as you can see, we smashed the end of round anyway, so could have played something like that. But anyway, round four, and 
Nothing good in the trade. We have to take cards at some point, so we may as well do it now. And <laughs> we do get a white stalk. Um, which, you know, it might be... Now this is... I had to think long think long and hard here about what what food did I want. With from, because the heron's giving me a fish, the night heron could give me food, and then the kookaburra could give me food. Do I want food from all them? Do I want to use? Do I want to cash this as a point? Do I want to use it? Do I want to use the heron to give me a food with an egg? What was I going to play here? I needed to plan what I was going to play. What I need to play. Did I need all this food? Could I get rid of cards in the forest to get me more? How many cards do I need for that? How many cards do I need to put onto the blackbird um, as well? It, it, I had to think long and hard about this sequence of plays here. Um, I think I intended here to... I think I tended here to keep the fish and <laughs> accidentally um, cashed it, but um, I think it's all right. I think we've got birds that we can play here. Obviously, we've still got our snipe that we can use if we're really stuck on food. Um, but yeah, I was thinking really the long spur bonus card bird. I think it is. I have in my hand was one of the play things I wanted to play, and uh, and the other bird, well, it, ideally the w the white stalk, but. We might not have the food for that. Maybe we do snipe instead. But, but there was nothing we had that um, helped for a bonus card anymore. So we're just looking for big point birds and obviously the more extra bonus card from the long spur. So. But yeah, my opponent definitely not setting up here just to egg lay five times. I think that's what they were doing here. Um, I think it's... Uh, Six point engine with Budry Gar and Bed Sparrow, so that's alright. Five turns, six points, pretty good. And getting some food, maybe they still got something to play. Maybe they can use B to run, so. And that means they don't have to give me any more food, so. Maybe I wasn't going to get any more food with this Kingfisher, so. Um, yeah, I had to incorporate that into my thoughts. Obviously, I had to get some eggs onto the bowl nest for this end of the round. Um, did ever think about this? What card do I want to get rid of here? What am I definitely not going to play? So, there's a chart. So, I see, what did I play the long spur? But then, do I play snipe or, you know, white stalk? Obviously, if I don't have the food for that, I can't. I, I wanted the flexibility from the hummingbird, basically. I took got rid of the snipe then because I wanted to, the flexibility from that. It's one point less, but it just means I could get it in the forest if I needed to. Um, so I wasn't sure what I was going to play and what I was going to have food for. What if I had food for the stork and the hummingbird? I mean, uh, yeah. Probably could have kept the snipe there. I can't remember why I decided not to keep the snipe. And yeah, so I, in a DoD world, I wanted to play the um, yeah the white stork and the long spur but um, I'm not sure there was going to be enough food unless I was sort of thinking maybe they will take food once more but and then I would have the food for it but he's taking all the nectar so not to get rid of cardia I think we need the card for the blackbird um, we still need to play one and yeah play one and then play one with the wagtail so we've only got one spare card now so when we go for card for eggs uh, well we had to play or I'll play the long spur and then egg lay um, and then we'll have to decide what we're going to play. Do we have the food for the stalk or not? Um, but but yeah, that's a factor in. Are they going to go for food again? Am I going to get any more food from them? I did think about going for food again uh, rather than eggling a second time. Because any spare food can go on starling, but long spur bit of a dud from the long spur um, if we've got the food for the stalk we could do platform builder but I don't think they're gonna be going through food again I think they're just gonna be egg leg now so I just took the two points from the slight section not very good but um, it's a safe it was the safer play to take the slight selection but
so so I could take food here um, again so I can get the food for the stalk I've already got rid of the platform builder now so it's not any use anyway but um, yeah, maybe keeping platform builder going for food here and then playing the stalk would be better rather than egg laying but egg laying is four five six um, we've got We've got two spare food for the starling if I can food it. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's similar, but I think I could, could compete for this end of round up something else that was uh, if I had to factor in too. So yeah, it was a tough one. I decided just to play this home, but obviously not really good two points, but um, better than nothing. Um, and I think yeah, I'm pretty happy with how the game went. Really, um, it's a decent bonus cards going on. It's like behaviorists and ecologists were excellent uh, they might be well there so could definitely have done things slightly differently but um, so yeah we just might have to tell no spare food to starling but it got me free bonus points so it was all right but so not incredible but um yeah we were one way from being a draw the end around so Maybe they were managing that. But then I, the mannequin, <laughs> I completely forgot about having the mannequin. I, it's not the first time I've done that <laughs> with these uh, yellow player bird pals. I completely forgot about it. I'm not sure if I could have factored in playing another bird, to be honest. Maybe I could have taken food to play the stork and the hummingbird, I suppose. I would have only been two extra points, so uh, maybe more, but if I'd taken platform order, but I don't know. It, there was a lot to think about at that end. I'm finding that a lot with Oceano, but. Uh, we're going to scores, and we got nice, good bird, po uh, bird point scores and the bonus cards. That's really nice. And the rounds we tie. Eggs is where they are going to be really strong. And almost bring it back. Food. Tucks, they're going to be better. So we are neck and neck. It's all come down to that nectar, which I just sneaked. 117 starting 10. Really good game. Uh, thank you very really much for watching. I hope you stick around and I'll try and play some more games and get them recorded without any technical issues. And I'll see you next time.